Hello, my name is Brian McConnell from Augmented Reality Tennis, where we develop an AR app for the Microsoft HoloLens that projects virtual targets over the live environment. About eight months ago, Justin Ellis and I got together and we started to discuss how do we utilize AR technology to grow the community. In the coming lessons, uh, we're going to be utilizing the app, so be sure to follow us. Hope to see you there. What we're going to do today is we're going to utilize the virtual target system uh, inside the app to place a target over the net to help us measure what height, speed, spin, and direction we need to hit our targets on the right-hand side. So this is a basic pattern in singles if you're a righty, playing a righty, forehand down the line to the righty's backhand. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle over the top of the net. We're just going to use this as a test to see where we are. The height, speed, and spin in direction over the net is really based on um, the player you are. So if you had a lot of spin, if you had a flatter ball, uh, the height needs to be a little higher, a little bit lower. But let's take a look and see what we have. So I'm going to look at hitting the target system here, the circle, and we're trying to hit inside um, our square box over here. <clears throat> look at that. So in tennis, again, when you're working on targets, again, the height, speed, and spin determine where the ball is placed on the court. So I can use this target system to work on hitting heavier balls, hitting direct hit, hitting flatter balls, where, how height and how heavy I want to hit the ball um, over the net to hit the targets I, I'm trying to hit. Add another target to the um, to the drill here. So, as we mentioned, we, we can hit the target by hitting two areas. I'm going to hit one flatter ball uh, using the circle, and then a heavier ball uh, hitting the square and trying to get it uh, inside that square. Our targets on the right hand side. So, flatter ball, a little bit lower. Flatter ball, perfect inside the target. Perfect. One more flatter ball. You can see this ball is going to be low over the net, targeting the circle. I'm trying to get inside that cones there. Perfect, right there. Now these balls are going to be a little bit heavier now, a little more spin. And we're going to target the square. Using the square. So I can still hit the target by hitting two different shapes on the ball. One flatter, more direct line, and more spin, dipping inside the court. Perfect. Now I'm going to alternate circle and square. So in tennis, this is going to allow you to vary the pace, oops, sorry, vary the pace when you're playing, still targeting the same uh, area and give your opponent different directions to hit. So as you can see, uh, we use virtual targets uh, to place them over the net to help us measure the height, speed, and spin uh, we need to hit targets on the other side of the court. When playing an opponent, it is wise and effective to vary the pace of the ball. Sometimes hit a ball that's heavier with more spin, sometimes hit a ball that's flatter, depending on where the opponent is and what your shot you're trying to hit. So these targets will help you really practice and find where in the court in relation to where you are that uh, you need to hit in order to be effective and hit that backhand corner. Thanks for joining us for our first lesson today with the Augmented Reality Tennis app, utilizing the Microsoft HoloLens, and please tune in for additional lessons.